So let's make a DFA for this language, w, where w starts with an a and has at most one b. So we'll notice here that this is an intersection of two languages. So we can see the first language here, w, starts with an a, and the second language here, w, has at most one b. So we can make DFAs for these languages individually and then combine them, and it'll make the process a little bit easier. So we can start by making the DFA for this, w starts with an a uh, language here. So we can start with our initial state, and then let's say on tr transition A, let's go to state two, for example. So the language W starts with an A, so if we go to the state here, we know that we started with an A, because this is the first transition and it's an A, so this is good. This is where we want to be and nowhere else, essentially. Um, if we are on a B, let's say we have a B transition, we're just gonna put it in a dead state because it's not gonna be valid because we need to start with an A and anything else is not valid, so we're just gonna send it to this dead state here. And then whatever happens after we start with an A does not matter because no other condition is listed, so we'll just loop on everything else. A and B will just say, as long as it starts with an A, we're good and anything can happen. Now what about this has at most one B language? So um, let's set our initial state here and let's say on b let's go to state two so if we're at state two that means that we have exactly one b because to get here we need one b um, and we have at most one b so this is fine but if we have another b say we have a state three where we need a second b to get there then that's not good anymore and this is going to be our dead state so once we're here that means that we can't accept no matter what so we're just going to loop on a and b because there's no possible you know, we're already, we've already failed the criteria. We have two Bs, that's more than at most one B. So we're just gonna fail no matter what. But what about A? We haven't accounted for A here. A is not really in this language at all. We're not, we don't care about A's. So on every single state, we'll just loop on A, looks like. So it looks like this, uh, these are the DFAs for both languages here. Let's just double check. So on state one, we have an A and B coming out. A and B going out on state two. We haven't done anything on state three. That's my mistake. We should just loop on A and B here though, because we know that if we're at this dead state, then that means that we've failed. So again, similar concept to this, um, we're, we're gonna fail no matter what, okay? So we'll just loop on everything. So these are the two DFAs for uh, both of these languages. So what we can do is we can kind of combine the concepts from both of these into uh, kind of one big, DFA, well, bigger per se. So now we're doing the whole language. So let's create our initial state. We can call this state one, and then let's make a transition A, um, where because we want to start with an A. So we're going to do kind of that concept first. So start with an A, that's all good, and has at most one B. So what we want to kind of do is on transition B, let's say we have um, and A first. So the only way this DFA is going to be valid is if we make this transition here. So if we don't, the only, other, the only other option is to do the B transition, then that's going to be a dead state. We don't want to be here. This is just going to be kind of where we're going to fail no matter what, because we need to start with an A. If we start with a B, then we can't accept. So we're just going to leave that there. But now what if we have a B coming from state two? Well, we're gonna, let's say, let's, let's go to new state. We can go to this, I already used state three. Okay, let's use state four. So has at most one B. So now we wanna kind of start tracking our Bs and from our previous um, DFA that we made here, here in yellow before, we kind of know that once we have one B, we're fine, but then we make another B transition. So we need two Bs to get here. And that's obviously not going to, uh, us not going to be good at all because then we have two Bs that's never going to accept. So this is going to kind of be a dead state too. Now what we can do is we can kind of eliminate this state here and just, you know, send it down here because that's going to be pretty much the same thing. Um, we're just sending it to the same kind of dead state. It's just going to loop on itself here. We're just kind of sending it to the area where it's never going to accept, right? So W starts with an A, so this is good, and then has at most one B. And this is good. So now we need to determine what our accept states are. So 
um, W starts with an A and has at most one B. So it can be zero or one Bs. So that means if we're here, that's fine. If we're here, that basically means our string is A. Oh, that's the worst A I've drawn in my life. Okay. If we're here, that means our string is just A. If we're here, this means our string is A, B. That's also fine. And then if we're here, this means our string is A, B, B, for example, which is not good. So this is looking good so far. So let's make sure that all of our states have um, A and B transitions going out. So we have an A transition, B transition on state one, um, B going here, but we don't have an A transition. So what do we do on A on state two? Well, A doesn't really matter here because we're not really counting how many A's we have after we know that we've started with one. Once we know that we've started with an A, we don't care what A's come after. There's no criteria in this language that says we need a certain number of A's or the A's should be in this position or not. So what we're just going to do is we're just going to repeat, uh, sorry, loop on A because it's not really relevant to the question after we know that we've already started with one. Man, I'm bad at drawing A's today. That's fine. And then same for state four. We don't have an A transition, but we know that A is not really relevant here. So we're just going to loop on A. Man, I'm really bad at drawing A's. Okay. So we're just going to loop on A there. So state one has A and B transitions, state two has A and B transitions, state three has A and B transitions, and state four has A and B transition. So this looks like the correct DFA for this language, W where W starts with an A and has at most one B.